In this lesson, we'll create a simple animation about a boy going to school. This course includes a set of sample files, which you can use for exercises. Please download the workshop.zip bundled with this course and unpack it. Let's take a look inside the first animation folder. Here you'll find the boy image. Next, the map image you'll be traveling over. All images are saved in ping format. This is the format we use for bitmap artwork since it provides compression without any loss of quality and allows us to save images with transparent backgrounds. Now let's add the boy image to Synfig. Choose File, Import from the main menu. Then find the location of our sample files. Go to the first animation folder and choose boy.ping. Here we've got an image layer. Let's select it. Every image layer has a set of handles which allow us to transform it. This handle allows us to move the layer. The blue point controls rotation. Using this orange corner, we can scale the image proportionally. You can also scale along a particular axis by dragging the yellow points here or here. Finally, this red point controls skew. I guess you probably won't be using it too often, so let's undo that action. You can also undo using Control Z as in other applications. Let's insert the map image. It's background.ping. As you can see, the image is too big. Let's select it and scale it to fit the work area. And let's send it to the back, like this. Now I suppose we also have to scale the boy and send him home, selecting that layer. By the way, you can zoom in and out of the current view by holding the control key and scrolling your mouse wheel. If you keep the wheel button pressed, you can move over the work area. Now we have everything in its place. So we want to make an animation of this boy going from home to school. Obviously at some moments the boy will be at home, and at some other moments he will be at school. We have to switch to the animation mode and set both locations for specific moments in time. Click the green man button here to toggle into animation mode. Green man becomes red and a red border appears around the canvas. This indicates that we're in the animation mode now. When the animation mode is on, all changes are recorded in relation to the current time. Let's take a look at the time tracking panel at the bottom. It indicates that we're at the zero frame now. We can change the current time by clicking this gray band. Let's go back to frame zero. The boy is at home, everything is all right. Now go to the 48th frame and drag the boy to school. Look right beside the transformation parameter, two orange diamonds have just appeared. These diamonds are called waypoints. They indicate that a parameter has a new value at some moment in time. Synfig creates waypoints when we change any parameter in the Animate Editing mode. This waypoint indicates that the boy is at school, and this one indicates that he's at home. Note that the motion between the waypoints is calculated by Synfig automatically. 
This animation is very simple, so Synfig can play it back in real time without any problems. But for animation with a higher level of complexity, real time playback may not be possible. That's why it's recommended to use the preview feature. Click this button to open the preview dialog. Here we can set the quality and preview frame rate. Let's extend our animation a little. At frame 96, move the boy to the store. And at frame 115, back home again. We can go to an existing waypoint and change its value. Now the boy is skipping his classes. He's gone to the cinema instead. Also, we can adjust the speed of the movement by dragging the waypoints. Move this waypoint from the 48th frame to the 20th. Now the boy is running to the cinema way faster than he used to walk to school. You can delete waypoints by right-clicking them and choosing Remove from the menu. Or you can just hold Control and Alt keys and click the waypoint with the left mouse button. You can also copy waypoints. To do so, move the cursor right where you want the copy. Find the right waypoint, right-click, and choose Duplicate. Now the boy returns to exactly the same position as he was at the start. This trick is very useful when creating looped animation. Remember, waypoints are only created in the animation mode. Otherwise, any changes you make will affect every frame in your project. Let's try it. Turn off animation mode and move the boy. Now we get an alert asking if we really want to apply the change to the whole animation. Let's click yes and see what happens. Now the boy moves off screen. Let's undo this. Note that we only get an alert if we change animated parameters. Otherwise, changes are applied at once. For example, let's try to move the background. See? No alerts here. So I guess we're ready for the next lesson. But first, let's save our file.